Mm, mm, mm. Boy, that's some good stuff. Welcome back, everybody. Um, thank you for watching that performance. Um, just came home one day and I thought I'd put it together for y'all. But um, thank you for coming to the second video. I'm sorry. School and work was crazy during the first part of the summer, and I was just, I was just really busy. I just couldn't give y'all the content. Just couldn't make the videos that I wanted to. So now school's over. It's time, it's time to actually get cooking with these videos. So today I want to switch it up a little bit um, and talk about uh, Rolling Loud. So I went to Rolling Loud this year, um, 2019 in Miami and um, crazy, something really special. And so today I'm gonna do uh, the top five performances that I saw at Rolling Loud. And um, if y'all disagree, y'all agree, feel free to comment below or whatever. But, for me personally, this was, you know, my top five. So here we, we, we gonna get into this real quick, real quick. Okay. So number five, I have Cardi B. Um, really? All right, so, <laughs> right, so interestingly enough, at number five, we have Cardi B and Cardi B really did put on a great performance. Um, She went crazy. Uh, she went on the first night on Friday night before Migos and she was really doing killing it. She was really killing it. I think uh, like actual like choreography and you know the songs she was playing and like she went through all of them. You know she just really killed everything. When she did motorsport, when she did reverse on motorsport, everyone went crazy and so everyone was really engaged. She was talking to the fans the whole time. She was twerking everywhere. Right? It was it was really it was really a great performance and that was on the first night. So number five at Cardi B. All right, at number four. Uh, we have the three the three headed monster, bro. Migos, man. Migos headlined Friday night and they killed it, bro. We, I was just having such a great time hearing all they they I just it put into perspective how many hits the Migos have. Cause they were going back to um they were going back to the, back to the no label days. And I was just like, oh, don't do it to them, bro. They didn't they didn't know they did um uh, culture one and two. Uh, Walking like I talk it, um, Versace, bro. They did. Um, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. They did Kelly Price. Uh, they did Deads, bro. And so the interesting thing with the Migos uh, performance, at least, is that during early in the day, there's Trippy Red and Ski Mask, so people were moshing. Like we were moshing, having a good time. Um, so I expected that, but for me goes, I thought, you know, everyone was just going to really like enjoy the performance, but, um, you know, we're chilling, you know, they, they come out, they, they come out and do the first song and then Quavo goes, Hey, <laughs> I need y'all to open that <laughs> five spit. Boom. I'm like, Oh, you niggas a you niggas a no, my spit, my spit, my spit. And I'm like, Oh, <laughs> and then. All of a sudden, you just hear Offset, open it up! And I'm like, oh, huh? <laughs> but, uh, but I had a good time, man. Like, Migos really had a great performance. And they, their set was already really long. But they could have went for another hour. Easily. With as many songs as they did. So, great performance at number four. All right, so for number three, kind of uh, kind of interesting. I put Lil Yachty, man. Lil Yachty was also on the first... Day, yeah, because I remember my phone died. Yeah, yeah, it was all on the first day. So the these three performances right here, these, these the fifth, fourth, and the third spot all go to day one. Day one was just I was really surprised by how well these performances were. So Lil Yachty said number three, and you know I used to be a huge Lil Boat fan, man, um, and I still am, and I just think he's just so cool, so laid back, and his name is Miles, so. You know, can't get much more, you know, can't add any more greatness to him. So, but yeah, he did his thing up there, man. He was interacting with the crowd. Um, and he, he just really seemed engaged. He had a whole bunch of people on stage and he brought out Kyle. That was the main standout um, part from Lil Yachty's performance was him bringing out Kyle and doing I Spy and everyone went insane. I went insane, man. I think Kyle, Kyle's the, one of the funniest funniest dude man so them to get on the same stage was ridiculous ridiculous right Lil Yachty takes the uh, third, third spot yeah. 
Number two, man, y'all already know who it's going to be, bro. It's Travis Scott. Yes, Travis Scott took the two spot on my list. He headlined um, Saturday night, and man, that's just an experience I will never, ever forget. That I missed the Astro World Tour in Tampa um, because he canceled it, and I couldn't make the rescheduled date. But um, the performance he put on at Rolling Loud was just incredible, man. Uh, I think probably the highlight was when he threw on Sicko Mode and he had fireworks going the whole time. So it's just like, you know, she's in love with who I am. Back at high school, he just, fireworks going all crazy, you know. It was just super cool. It was, it was insane. People were going nuts. People were going ridiculous. They, didn't not, they didn't, con couldn't control themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a part in his own set where actually the speaker blew and uh, he had to stop. Like, they turned on the lights and people had to start leaving. They thought it was done. And all you hear is the party never ends. And then it literally all mayhem broke loose after that. Um, so it was really good. Travis Scott definitely takes the second spot, not number one. So, yeah. You know. Before I want to get to my number one, I want to have a audible mention list. Um, so first, before we get into the number one spot, I'm gonna go through some audible mentions about some who didn't quite make the list, but were really good nonetheless. Um, all right, so honorable mentions: I got Sheck West, um, Lil Uzi, Ray Shremmerd, and Playboy Cardi. Uh, so Sheck West was actually fasting during this. Um, during, during Rolling Loud. And so he was, you know, be like, you know, I've been eating or drinking, you know, since this morning, like 3 a.m., some crazy this morning, and, you know, I'm doing this for y'all. And I was like, damn, like, he's willing to pull it, putting it all out there for us to put on a great performance. And, um, yeah, we, the the crowd, the crowd respected him for it. And it just went crazy. Um, Lil Uzi, that was actually crazy because that was the first time, um, um, he started, I think, performed like Sangu uh, Sanguine Paradise, however you pronounce it. If I pronounce it wrong, I'm sorry. Um, and um, that's a rack. That's the first time he performed those two songs. And uh, yeah, and then he did a little teaser about Eternal Take or whatever. But it was still good, though. But I didn't feel like he was like laying everything out. Like we've seen that man jump off of buildings before and rolling out and he, you know, but it was still good, still good performance. Another honorable mention, uh, Ray Shremmerd, uh, they went ridiculously insane. I, I, those were, that was a performance where I was like, oh, you know, if I see him, cool. If not, I mean like, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but I'm so glad I saw him because they have so many hits, man. They got Swang, No Type, Power Glide, bro. Like they have so many hits and, um, Everyone was enjoying it, you know. I was just, it, it was really a scene out of a movie when they were performing, man. And they just had the whole crowd engaged the whole time. So I thought it was pretty cool. They, uh, they, and they played Sunflower. When Sway Lee did Sunflower, man, it was bliss, man. It, it was, it was something I'll never forget for sure. All right, my last honorable mention, bro, Playboy Cardi. <laughs> nah, man, I, that was insane. People, people were passing out. During, during his mosh pits, man, we were right next to the front, and um, I'll never forget it. He 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 came out to R.I.P. Um, uh, he came out to um, notice me, R.I.P. Fredo, and he was just going, you know, going crazy, whatever. Um, and then he's he's walking over, walking over, and like the lights were on, and so this this girl like right in front of us was like, yo, like she needs like a medic, bro. Like, can you call a medic over here? You know, she needs some attention. And, you know, other rappers during the day, like, check would be like, oh, you know, like, hold up, like, you know, get them, get her some water, or, like, can we get a medic over here, a guard over here? Playboy Cardi looked at us, and he said, let's get it. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Stared us dead in our faces and said, and eh, whatever, <laughs> and kept going, bro. And I was like, oh, my goodness. So, um, yeah, he was, he was high energy. I had to take a break. And for number one, uh, Kid Cudi. Um, Kid Cudi takes the top spot. It took for 
forever for this man to come out. We were just waiting and waiting. I was falling asleep, like standing up, falling, rocking back and forth. But I think because he was the last performer, they turned his bass all the way up. Because the whole weekend, you know, we were lit. We were right next to the stage, like fine. But during his whole set, you just felt the bass right in, in your bones. And it was, it was just crazy. But he put on something unbelievable and all the all the colors and you know when he when he when he finally performed pursuit of happiness you couldn't get better than that you know and he he just really seemed like he was happy to give us that performance like you know he was so he he it, it seemed like he was privileged to be there and he was just honored to perform for us for that day and 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 that concert out and it was crazy because i was like you know they put him last but that's really big it's not him and yay because i know he performed coachella and uh flog nod together but kid cutty by himself for this i'm like dang so like that's gonna be crazy like he's gonna put on some nuts and it it was ridiculous so it was an insane experience and I, that i'll never forget so thanks for watching my top five video man uh i got more content i got more time now so I will give you all better videos, okay? All right, so thank you for watching. Like this video, man. Leave a comment if you think another one was better or some sleeper. I miss some people. Um, I miss Chief Keef. I miss Walker. <laughs> I miss Meek, bro, the baby. So it, it, it's, it's, you know, if you, if you thought one was better than the other, drop a comment below, let me know, but. Thank y'all, man. Y'all have a good one, bro. And I'll see y'all in the next bit, man. Peace.